This is a reply to Duff's video about why you ride in the cold. I covered a little bit of it when I did one of my first uh, Polar Bear Challenge runs. And the reason why, particularly for me, it's important to develop cold weather riding skill is I didn't think at first when I was riding that it was really possible if you lived up this far north to get by with just a motorcycle for your main vehicle and uh, just rely on a motorcycle for transportation. But since then I have seen enough riders I did change my mind and if it's possible in a pinch that you do have to get by with a cheaper vehicle and dump your car you still can get by if you learn the necessarily skills to be able to ride in the cold and uh, it's basically just watching the road conditions and learning how to dress appropriately it didn't seem to be as long as the roads were decent uh, year before last when I rode an 8 below zero. It didn't seem to be that big of a deal as far as being able to get around to local things in local areas. I probably wouldn't go on a long distance trip, but as far as uh, if you had to make a quick run to the store or pick up some items to get by, it seemed like at least once every two weeks in the worst winters we've had, there's an opportunity where the streets are dry enough that it's safe as far as traction and then if you know how to dress properly and I'm talking about I've never had heated gear, never had any kind of hand warmers, um, anything like that to help me out with it. Hopefully yeah, this truck coming up behind us, I'm going to edge up a little bit here too so he can hopefully trip this light because this is not one that really trips with, for motorcycles too easily. And he's going to lay back, so we'll probably be stuck. Yep, we're probably going to be stuck at the light. Anyhow, that's basically my video response. And if you want to get a chance, I will post down below in the description. I will post a link to Duff's video where you can go and watch it. And then uh, by way of his video, you can find his channel. And if you like what he posts, by all means, subscribe. He was one of the participants along with his dad in the Polar Bear Challenge this year.